us. Good morning. So it's another Sunday and today I came back from church. I went to church. <laughs> As you can see, I still have my you know, lip gloss on, but I went to church today. But now I have so many things to do because I decided I need to bake another cake. I need to make like, um, you know, chivita, but the homemade one. So basically just blending, you know, pineapples and coconuts because I want to see what it tastes like when I just blend those two things together because if you've noticed like the recent chivita is not the chivita we started with you know that pineapple and coconut flavor I used to like it very much but all of a sudden I noticed that it is more watery more it's basically not tasting like the coconut juice we know or the chivita I used to know so I decided to make mine and today I'll also be baking another cake I'll be making like some you know chicken stir fries so I have so many things to do today so I thought why don't I show you guys what you know my Sunday is like today I went to church so <laughs> you know I'm redeeming myself for the last time but today let's just start with this because I still have, you know, I want to watch movies today, I want to relax because now I've resumed work. <laughs> you know, I used to tell you that you're my work, but now I've resumed work. <laughs> so, I'll have to squeeze you in one way or the other, but now let's just, you know, start with this baking because... <sighs> I'm already so tired thinking of the things I have to do today, but... stuff is looking like there's too much coconut compared to the to the pineapple I don't know how it will taste but I think I added too much coconut So I'll put this in the fridge. This 
class I used to use it for brown sugar. That's why I don't leave anything else. I'll put this in the fridge and we'll do a taste test later. Uh, um, I want to try experiment. You know, like since I want to make a cake, I'll use this for like half of the butter. I want to see what it will taste like. And so now it's time to bake the cake. I have everything I need laid down here. Uh, we'll be following one recipe that is... I saw this recipe on YouTube, obviously. The one from this lady. Playing it with Wendy. So let's see how this our cake turns out. This easy peasy pancake is a baking classic. You've got to try.
So the last batch of the cake is out. And I noticed that the ones with that coconut, whatever, they have this flat kind of surface. spice that I've had in my fridge for ages now. <laughs> I'll put it inside the chicken. I saw this recipe somewhere. I don't know what it will taste like, especially for being like a stir fry. tired dead beats <laughs> like I've done a lot today so just pardon my you know <laughs> I'm still going back to my secondary school days you know when we used to rock out everywhere but this just drives away the heat but I'm really tired but I want us to test this cake I don't, I don't really feel like eating cake but I don't know when I'll be able to test this again but let's just test you know this one then we'll test or we'll taste whichever one the coconut one this one i don't know if it's maybe because of the water that made it you know like become like this but let's taste it and see what it will turn out like mm. <laughs> guys you know why i love to make my own cake because i don't like sweet things like overly sweet cake or whatever so this one is just perfect you know how the recipe says the lady used 250 grams for everything, but me, I used 200 grams for everything. But instead of 200 grams of sugar, I used 250. And this is the perfect taste. You know, especially when I want to take my coffee, this is the perfect cake for that. But now let's taste this one, this coconut. Oh, I don't know what it is going to taste like. But let's see. Say a prayer for me. Mm. It does not really taste too unique, but I think it's the water that just made it. You know, like obviously the coconut mixture had water because I was trying to blend it up. Mm, that's what made the cake to go inside like that. But it tastes just like this normal one. And I'm not really even feeling the coconut inside. Maybe if I had put much more, it would have been more obvious, but I don't want to risk, you know, wasting my butter. So now let's taste this stuff. So initially I noticed that the water was separating from the... 
that is like water was separating from the rest of the mixture inside but this is what it is looking like let's taste it i have like a cup of ice here let's see what this tastes like Yeah. Let me just shake that. Ooh. I don't know why I feel like this stuff is is going to ferment. Let's see what it tastes like for now though. Oh, this looks beautiful. Let's see. Mm. Obviously not the same as Chivita or at least the Chivita I used to love but you know it tastes a little close I think what I'll do with this I'll put it inside popsicle mold and then leave it inside the freezer because the stuff looks like what is going to ferment before tomorrow morning just opening itself it's already having like this pop sound and I don't want to waste my you know hard work I put this in type of school mode. Yeah. Instead of pop school mode, why don't I use this my you know ferro share a bit ferrero? I bet the English too hard. I'll pour the stuff inside here and make some kind of modes. So me and my try and error lifestyle, this is what it is looking like. This looks so beautiful. But I'll freeze it. <laughs> you know, I'll put the lid obviously and freeze it. Mm, I'm so excited to see how this turns out. 